Here I have the electric food slicer. Um, when I got this, it was kind of disassembled, but I put it together and then it comes with the manual and it also comes with uh, two blades. So one blade uh, is more for cutting things like bread, while the other blade that I have on here currently is more for cutting things like meat or uh, ham or vegetables or something like that. Uh, what I do like about this machine, um, I like that it really has uh, these good suction cups on the bottom. So if you have like a hard surface countertop, you can kind of press it down and it makes it really stable so it's not going to move around on you when you're using it. Um, it is very easy to use. Um, if I want to change the blade, which I'm going to do uh, because I'm going to use my bread blade, all you do is you press the thing and then you kind of just pull it out and it comes right out and then you can replace it with your, with your other blade to do, um, you know, if you're doing bread, like I'm going to be doing here. Um, and then it just fits right on. Now, in order to make this, your slices thinner or thicker, there is um, a lever on the back right here that adjusts the width of your um, slice. And there is a ruler on the um, meat slicer itself that you can adjust and make your slices thicker or thinner. So since I'm doing bread, I'm gonna adjust it for that purpose to one of the thicker slices. Then when you're gonna slice your ham or your meat, you're gonna put it on there. And um, when you have something that's a little bit narrower, you will uh, use this real handy guiding tool which slides right on top of here and it helps you to uh, secure your product on, onto the board so that you can slice it as you push it through without getting your hand close to the guard. So one thing I've noticed as I'm cutting, because I haven't done bread before, is that because my loaf itself is wider than the plate that it actually sits on here, you can see um, it goes onto the blade a little bit here. I actually have to start it here and then as the blade goes through, it, the bread will come down. As you can see, it's got nice even cuts through the bread. Um, the loaf itself is cut it really nicely. Um, and you can see that the bread is slightly wider than the, the platform. So I do have to maneuver the, maneuver the bread a little bit um, to get it to cut through. So this would work really good for like a sandwich loaf, um, but probably not for something like a harder, um, sourdough loaf that is a little bit wider like this unless you had a narrower uh, boule type, type of uh, a loaf. So, um, but other than that, it glides really nicely. This pushes in really quickly. It adjusts really easily with this little blade, this little lever at the back here. Yawn off switches right here it has these really great suction cups. Um, that I mentioned, the blade is really sharp, so you want to use that guard. Um, and then, uh, you know, it works really, really well for cutting, um, you know, a, a roast that's probably around three or four pounds, probably not much bigger than that. The thing that people have mentioned, um, and I have found this myself, is that this machine is not real easy to clean. So, of course, like this guard can go in the dishwasher, um, but for the most part, uh, to clean it, you got to lift this, and you can see I got breadcrumbs. Bread is pretty easy to clean up, but if you had meat juice or something else on here, it wouldn't be so easy to clean. You can take the blade off um, and and take it out of there so that you can clean the blade itself um, and clean in and around there. But for the most part, everything else is pretty stuck to the machine, so you're going to have to just manually wipe everything and use like a brush. Um, or something else to kind of get into the crevices and everything else. So that is one downside, although I would say even though that, uh, because of that, I, it's, it's not going to prevent me from using this because it's just so quick to do things, especially things like salami that are hard to cut um, or like this uh, sourdough loaf that I did. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, it's pretty crusty, so, you know, sometimes it's easier just to cut it with the slicer overall. Um, not, not a big enough downside that I wouldn't purchase this.